Hello, it's me again. Last time we already finished with the HTML form, but it doesn't look like the final result at all. There is no background and no margin, and the button also doesn't work yet. So what we will do in this video is to make some styling and make the first Ajax request. So let's add firstly the background. I already have the background I like, but if you don't have yet, you can go to unsplash.com. This website has a lot of high definition images and photos that you can just go ahead and look for the one that you like and download it. And it, at the time I'm using, it is uh, totally free to use. So let's add in the style section some uh, CSS. Let's go and check. Okay, so now there is a background image. Next, we will maybe add a title here and a margin and make the this button wider and also place a placeholder to the message. Okay, I think now it looks nice. Maybe we move it a little bit to the right. And then actually it's totally right. Okay, then we can show the envelope. This very nice one. Okay, uh, next thing to do is to... Maybe I make here a PHP file so that we can make the validation and sending mail. Uh, later. So at this moment it will be a very simple one. And we need to create something that this index.php and sendmail.php can talk to each other and that is the next thing we will do it's uh, to uh, make a first ajax request the ajax needs jquery so we need to add jquery before using that So you just go ahead and copy this one. Yeah, it's grammatically wrong. Okay. Now, when the document is ready, uh, and we want to listen to this button, if somebody click the button, 
then we should open the connection between the sendmail.php and index.php. So what we place here is something we want to do before the request uh, is sent. Like in the form, I want this text sending message to turn to like sending. So people know that there is something happen. ID is submit PTN. And after it was done, we would like to turn it back to send a message, even though it has success or error. And that's what we will do in the complete section. So now let's just have a fast check. To make sure that it doesn't have any error. So when I click send message, you can see very fast that the text is changing and then it changed back to the same message. Yep, like that. So if the request is successfully sent and it has something back in return, we will display it maybe firstly to the console now we open the inspect from google chrome and see the console yeah it is here the console is this section so if i click this one it's supposed to have console here like hello uh, there is nothing because i forget one important thing when the button is click normally it will refresh the page so we have to prevent this to happen nothing happened hmm. maybe because of this one we don't have yet a JSON type so okay so now it say hello so it actually gets the data from sendmail.php and maybe we make here a small section to display the error Ah, so I already have it. So if you uh, haven't have it, let's go ahead and make one. Uh, this is a div with the ID is mess, msg, like a message. Um, and now let's test a little that if we receive the response, it will go to this section and it will say hello or something.
so if there is a response uh, they will display it in the message section and if there is not uh, there will be a warning actually uh, it is a little bit like the arrow now but later when we continue with the sendmail.php we can see that the code uh, the arrow is diff different and this error message will help us to separate which which errors it comes from is it coming from the network uh, the delivery or it comes from the response itself so come back to the live version and refresh it and then we'll click sending so it say hello and the alert alert warning or alert success they are all bootstrap and uh, that's all for today in the next video i think we will continue with the validation and yeah some validation will go here uh, if the validation fails then it will send back a message